Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and in this video series we will learn about a complete IoT platform which is Smarten.Tech which is completely made in India and in this platform you can integrate your IoT device and we will take care of the rest of the things for you. So you only have to focus on your IoT hardware then we will tell you how to integrate it with the platform so that you can control or monitor that device from Smarten.Tech from anywhere in the world. Currently, the platform is available for PC, desktop, as a web app, and you can also use a mobile application which is available on Google Play Store. We are currently working on the iOS app and soon we'll going to deploy that too. So let's get started with the Smarten.Tech. So what exactly is the Smarten.Tech? So it's an online platform that provides the backend support so you can focus on building the IoT hardware and connect it with the platform to control and monitor that particular device. So how to access that platform? Let's focus on it. So you only need to go to smarten.tech and then there you go. This is a complete website. You can take a look at it. Then you will find this option. Go to dashboard. This will take you to the complete smarten.tech platform. And here you have two options. One is to log in and second one is to create an account. So if you are new to, new to the platform, you only need to click on create new account. And if you are just like me who has already created an account, Let's focus how to get started. So I'm just currently logging in. And there you go. Login successful. And this is the first first screen that you will be seeing when you log in to the Smarten.Tech IoT platform. So this is going to be your dashboard as it says. Here we have a couple of options. I'll take you through each and everything and uh, across this video series we will learn how to integrate our devices so in the first video I'll, we'll go through the complete IT platform we'll see what are its uh, different you know uh, different things that we can do with the platform and what are its different components on the top you can see total devices total groups online devices and online device offline devices so here the devices that you are you will be working on you will see those devices here as total devices that you have created Total groups as you have created online devices and offline devices. Those devices who are currently online will show you here and those devices that are currently offline will show you here. So what are groups and what are devices? We'll discuss them as well. Below that, as you can see, there are uh, options for widgets, gauges, color pickers, toggle buttons, sliders and here on the right side you can see push buttons and device health. We'll talk about each and everything. Now on the top here you can see the navigation menu on the top it says user profile then we have the dashboard our current screen then we have instance groups devices switches sensors and github so click on this github link and you will be redirected to smarten.tech github repository here you can find each and everything related to the platform we'll be uploading new project codes and uh, updates on this repository itself so this is the official repository for smarten.tech now coming back to the platform, let's start from the top. First of all, we have Instance. So Instance is like a server that you need in order to communicate with the platform. So here are the username, smarten.tech, the password and your publishing topics. So we will discuss about these things later on, but let's understand the hierarchy, how the platform works and what do we need to do in order to enable our IoT device that is compatible with our smarten.tech platform. The first option that you will see is the groups. Now, in order to make a device, first you need to make a group. In order to make a device, you first need to make a group. You can create multiple groups and you can assign different devices under that group. So once the group is created, you can allot multiple devices in that group. And then you can use different elements in those devices. So we'll discuss what are groups, devices and those elements. So the hierarchy goes like this. First, you need to create a group. So what are the groups? Let's discuss. So here we have the hierarchy for the platform. First, you need to create a group. Then in the group, you can use multiple devices. You can also have multiple groups as well. So let's say I create a group as living room. Now living room is a group and then I can attach different devices to that particular group say for example in this figure you can see that i have 
a smart switchboard which is assigned to the living room and I have a temperature sensor which is also assigned to the living room. So in that case what I can say is I have my living room as a group in which there are two devices one is switchboard and second one is a sensor. Now in the devices I can further add multiple elements and what are those elements say for example switchboard is a you know IoT device which can control multiple appliances. So here for example I have two toggle buttons to uh, operate two different devices. So inside a device I have two different elements and inside one this temperature sensor I have a gauge for measuring the temperature I can have another widget to measure the humidity as well so we will focus on this example and we will make a variety device based on this example only so let's start with the hierarchy and let's focus on our group so here is the group window first I need to click on enable here I need to enter the name so I'll be giving living room as the group name and I just need to click on submit so a group is created by the name of living room. Now I have a room. Now I need to make devices. Again, now I need to go to this devices window. As, as you can see, no devices are created as of now. I have to enable this window. Then I need to click on this living room. Here I need to select the group. So living room is the group. Here I need to enter the device name. So what is the device name in our case? It's a smart switchboard. So let's enter smart switchboard click on submit and the device is created here you can see the list of devices so currently I have only one devices with the device name smart switchboard and which has a device ID as of this so I'll show you how to use this device ID and where we will be using it but first let me create a basic hierarchy so that I can explain you each and everything now let's create our another device which is a temperature sensor again inside the living room by the name of temperature sensor click on submit and I have another device temperature sensor and its device ID is this one perfect so now that I have two devices I can add multiple elements inside these devices so let's see how to add these things so here I have two toggle buttons to toggle different appliances in this smart switchboard so what I will do here is I just go to the switches and I have various options one is a push button second one is a toggle button third one is a slider Fourth one is a color picker so push button is just a simple push button the moment you press it it will send a command to your device toggle button is an on and off button which will send two commands depending on the action slider is for the range for example if you want to control the speed of the fan you can use a slider color picker is to pick a color so basically you can use a RGB LED and send the color from the platform and it will be changed accordingly so that's how we can use different elements now the first thing we need is toggle button here click on the toggle button window and you will see create the toggle button tab enable it now you have to select the device so toggle button will be in smart switchboard now here I have to name it let's say I'm naming it bulb now this is uh, important thing on payload on payload means the data that you want to send to the device when the bulb is turned on or when you press the on button and you or when you switch on the toggle button so let's say I'll using it as bulb on so this is the data that this platform will send to the device when you turn the toggle button on off payload is similar thing but for the off condition let's uh, use bulb off topic I'll explain the topic in a while in coming video lectures so in MQTT we have to assign some topics so it's a uh, you can consider it as a pipeline so you have to transfer the data to this pipeline so that the device will listen to it so let's say let's put it as switch board done and click on submit and you can see our element is created serial number one group is living room element name is bulb element ID is this one publish on subscribe on on and off payloads this publish and subscribe I will explain you in a while in coming videos as well because this is a concept of MQTT and you have to understand the complete terminology of MQTT so for now just focus on this one that we have created a toggle button now I have to create another toggle button again select the device as smart switchboard toggle button name in this case is let's say LED 
now on payload will be LED on off payload will be LED off you can use any of the payloads topic now this is important so I'll be using the same topic again I can subscribe to multiple topics but here I'll be using the same topic again click on submit and here I have two toggle buttons for the device that we have created the smart switch board under the group of living room again we have created one perfect uh, device now go back to the hierarchy and here we have a temperature sensor we have already created the device now we have to create the gauge for the temperature sensor now if I click on this sensors I'll see notification gauges and widgets so let's add a widget for the temperature sensor enable it select the device in this case I'm using a temperature sensor here the widget name will be temperature let's uh, add temp here I can select the icon the icon will be this one unit it sends degree Celsius so C click on submit and here I have the temperature sensor with the element name temperature the element ID publish on and the living room as a group okay so I've created one widget by the name of temperature now let's say I want to create a gauge for the humidity as well select the device temperature sensor gauge name as humidity minimum value will be 0 and the maximum humidity value will be 100 click on submit and here I have another element with a minimum of 0 maximum of 100 this is the publish on topic it will be same for each and everything in our dashboard so let's go back to the dashboard and let's see what are the things that are currently present there okay so as you can see we have our widget as temperature sensor we have our humidity monitor system we have our toggle buttons by the name of bulb and LED and as you can see there is a red dot there there is red color here offline written here offline here and there are two red dots here this shows that we have total two devices and both of them are currently offline with 0% of signal strength so in this video we have explained about we have learned about the smarten.tech platform what exactly is it what are its different terminologies and how we can create devices groups and different elements so in the coming lectures we will focus on integrating uh, our device we will be working on ESP8266 and we will be focusing on transferring the data from the device to these uh, dashboards and we'll make sure that these things will be online and they work perfectly fine. Stay tuned for more.